always enjoy talking about uh, legal technology and, and what's going on in, in the uh, app space. So, uh, yeah, like you said, I you know started uh, Lovex in uh, 2009. As the, the Lovex concept was, um, first of all, to, to brand. I, I felt like it was important to say it with our, our brand and our logo right from the beginning that this law firm is not about the lawyers, it's about the mission. To take the frustration out of people's legal experience, not, not just for clients, but also for our attorneys and staff. Uh, we wanna you know, be compassionate. And, you know, we do everything oriented around those that mission and those values. Um, the, the whole idea is to, to make the law firm about the clients, it's not really about the lawyers. Tell you, if I would have seen this list seven years ago, I probably would have, you know, my head would have been spinning and just thinking to myself, oh, oh my gosh, how am I going to deal with all that? It's cumulative, right? It takes time to to identify, you know, the the apps that that make sense for your firm. I, I would start the whole thing with Clio. Like I said, got to have a good case management system, and you got to use it. All. The, the case management system, if you evaluate one versus another, you want one that plays nicely with these other things because the case management system is really only, only going to give you part of the functionality that you need. With the shift from you know back office stuff, we started moving into front office things with case status for that sort of full service interaction with the client that, that has that roadmap that I spoke of earlier so that people can kind of see phase one, phase two, phase three, and so on definitely been a hit. The interaction that you mentioned really needs to happen between case status and Clio, like any any client forward interaction where people are uploading information and documents, you want security and you want that seamless push. We want that data to populate straight into the Clio matter. And it does by, by having a forward facing uh, you know, easy to access app, right? I mean, you, you, you minimize that friction between the firm and the client. And then, and then you're, you're providing uh, predictability because you're showing them a phase like, okay, you're in this phase of your case, you're going here, you're going there. And it starts to ease those factors that we talked about earlier. And it, it you know, it's nothing's perfect, but it definitely helps them understand where is my case at now? What is the firm waiting on or, you know, what, what's going on next? And if I need to reach them, how do I do it? And how do I do it quickly, you know, straight from my phone? And on our end, like, we don't want to have to duplicate that data. I don't want people doing data entry from one app and then dropping it into another. I want it to just push.